Welcome back, friends. Um, I was talking about last time uh, of making a big uh, cargo hub up here in between Brussels, Amsterdam, Hamburg, Berlin, and Frankfurt. And I still probably want to do that, uh, but not right now. Um, we have a couple of things that we need to do. Uh, first of all, uh, we're not producing as much food as we would like down here in in uh, in Den Denmark. Uh, so we we kind of want to transport more of this food because it, it's it's just. Uh, we can't get this to upgrade with what we have going now because Hamburg only needs uh, what, 142 food and it's basically getting it. It has the rate of the line going there is 198, so it should be getting it. Uh, over in London, we need 273 food. The rate is more than fine on the ships there, but we only need 273, so that's basically 400, which is more or less what we're making. So, what we want to do is produce more food and sell it somewhere. And I am thinking Stockholm is a good idea. Uh, because we also have two more uh, forests up here, which I want to take down to Rostock. Uh, because down here in Rostock we have a sawmill and down here we need uh, planks so I think that's a good place to start so ships cargo harbor uh, I think I want probably just one uh, maybe two because we need oil up here as well. So two uh, platforms and we can put you in right there. I kind of like that actually. That is very nice. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then we do need a harbor down here as well. Uh, which we'll put in um, can't really get it to connect up to that road because the coast is a little bit too high there so I think we'll put it over here uh, we don't need this right now but we're going to So we'll just put it in there for now. All right, so um, then we need to have a a cargo thing here. But, uh, yeah, so this is only unloading. We want unloading and loading. So I think we'll use you, probably make it 30 meters, three terminals, uh, all the trucks. So do we, uh, I guess we need to put in a road here first. What streets or city streets? That doesn't work. That works. And then you can kind of connect up there. All right. And the terrain. I think we'll do it like this anyway, though. Can we make it 40 meters? Now, we don't need it to be that long, to be honest. So, like that. 
we will smooth this out a bit so it doesn't look so janky and then we need some streets over here here we'll go with not city streets That looks horrible. That looks kind of better. I'm actually okay with that. And then we need another cargo thing. I think we'll make this as long as we can. And we'll place it in here. Like so. Okay. So that's set up. Then we need... Still, we, we don't need that right now, but we will want it. We will want it. Um, so we need some uh, cargo unload spot here for foods. And I'm kind of thinking here. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we can make a new line from... Didn't I say new line? Oh, autosave. Autosave, the wonderful, wonderful wonders of wonderful autosave. Come on, let it. Alright, so we made two new lines. Fine. Uh, let's make one of them yellow. Uh, at station. From there. To there. And this will be. Stock hold. Uh, solid supplies. And then we can make another new line. But uh, no. We don't need a new line, we need just to add stations from, well, let's not start there. Let's start where the product is being made, which is here, and we will send it up there. And once we get this all going, we will put in here to, uh, to drop off the planks on the way down, go over there, pick up the food, and take that back. That's not relevant right now. Uh, but this will be um, the Stockholm. Well, actually, it'll be uh, Denmark food to Sweden. Let's call that. I kind of like that naming convention. I might go through and change all our international lines to the country names. I don't know if I will, but I might. I might. Uh, we do still have a lot of backlog here on the trucks, which is really frustrating. Oh, Canada Air. Okay. And some new trains, some new trucks. Very cool. What we could do is have this exit come off here and go down there. It'll look ridiculous, but it'll work. For some of the trucks, at least. Uh, maybe, actually. It will come off here, and we'll come in there. I think we'll do that. And... We'll see if that helps anything. It might.
He might. Certainly some of the trucks are taking another route now, which is good. Maybe we can upgrade the trucks. What are we using here? We are using bins to pollens. Uh, so what if we... So bins to pollens has a capacity of seven. The Volvo Vikings... Uh, Capacity of 22. I like that. I, we certainly don't need all of them now. So I think we'll take off... 10? So why do we only have 5 vehicles selected? I feel like I clicked a lot more vehicles than that. Alright, that'll loosen it up a bit, and then you, food to Hamburg, Finland, grain to food, one, let's replace you as well, and we'll sell 15. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, that's a lot less trucks on the roads, and that is a good thing, I hope. And I kind of like them. They're pretty cool. And can probably sell more than this. So, a rate of 991. That is way too much. We only need a rate of 600 for these because that is their max production. So, that will loosen all this up very nicely once we figure out the ratios that we need to have. It's already loosened it up quite a bit. We got rid of 25 trucks that want to go in here. yeah uh, yeah a little uh, detour there on our uh, on our um, setting up of the new lines you know how it is squirrel so yeah this should loosen up very nicely once it's done but what we really should do is as well we have 18 trucks going for food to Hamburg. Let's replace those with the Volvo Vikings as well. And we can go down. We can definitely get rid of eight of them. I think we'll get rid of nine. Yep. All right. This should become much, much better now. With all those trucks gone, let's take a quick look at it. Oh. Those looks pretty good. Those look pretty good. Nice Volvo trucks. I like it. So this should really, really help. Okay, let's uh, see. We set up the lines, didn't we? I feel like we did. Uh, Stockholm. We have Stockholm solid supplies, and we have that. So all we need are ships and trucks. So let's buy vehicles. We can go with the Axe Alp. I think that's a good idea. Uh, let's get 
three of them for now. And we will make you your color, which was red. And put you on Denmark to, to Sweden. Okay. So that's good. Then we need some trucks up here and we definitely need a depot up here. Because there is nothing nearby. There's an absolutely nothing. And we'll put you in there. And we'll buy some vehicles. We will again go with the Volvos with the flatbeds. No, not with the flatbeds, with the uh, the tarpaulins and we'll get two of them and we'll make you yellow and we will put you on Stockholm Solid Supplies there we go okay Let's put it on normal speed alrighty so this should mean that you are going to produce a lot more now. It's already getting better. And there we have one of our new ships. Let's see what the rate is on that. 171. Well, you don't need that much food, do you? 37, so that's more than enough. But once we get ships going down here, we'll need to up that rate quite a bit. Okay. This is good. Oh, we have a lot of goods sitting here. 363 goods going to Amsterdam. Is that even possible? Your fuel train. Okay, you're coming down here. Do we only have one vehicle on here? No, we have two. What's. Oh, wait. Do we have a capacity of 88 on this? We could easily increase that, but now it's down to a reasonable amount again. Well, I say reasonable, it's not really reasonable, it's a lot, but better. Better. And we have, wow, a lot of tools sitting here for these guys. So that's another type of lines that we could start optimizing is our ship lines. Because we have those two new ships and we could definitely start up, uh, optimizing. So right now we have a rate of 1434 there. Wow. Oh, they have land. Cool. We do need to do something about our airports as well. Bedford. No trucks there. New trains. Oh, it's all it's all happening. It's all happening. All right, so we have 14 vehicles on here. Ooh, and we have just passed a billion dollars in the bank. Do we still have a loan? I don't think so, right? No. Um So we have 14 ships on this line. What if we replace those ships with the Axe Alps? Uh, and why is the con oh, condition very good? Okay. And now, if we take a look here, this rate is insane. So we can take off six uh, 
and send them home. Okay, so what's the rate now? 1386. It's a little bit too high. We might be able to take one ship off. Let's give it a minute. And we have these guys. Is this the Denara Castle? It is. We have nine ships on there. Uh, what's the rate that we want for it, though? Uh, wrong thing. So right now we have a rate of 614. We're going to plas uh, plastic. And we actually want that to come up a little bit, I think. Yeah. So... Let's replace these... ...with the Axe Alps. Uh, let's make them... Is that red? I think that's red. And I think... We probably sell one of them. Oh, it's not red. It's a greenish kind of thing. Uh, I think it's that one. All right, so what's your rate now? 1,351. That is way too much. So we can take off... Three ships. Okay, 898. That is... It's almost perfect. That is almost perfect. Okay. So those are improved. Less traffic, which means less waiting time up here to get into port. Uh, let's take a look at you. You have a rate of 736. We want that to be a tad higher. Uh, probably not this high, but a tad higher. Uh, 925, six. Uh, guessing that we can. Take off at least one ship. Probably two. Probably two. We'll see, we'll let it run for a bit. But all of this is basically freeing up space in our harbors. So, which route was this? It was Tools to Glasgow. Rate of 237. Uh, let's replace you with Axe Alps. And... Let's see what the rate is now. 522. Uh, so it's tools, Glasgow and bricks to Copenhagen. I don't think we need that higher rate on this. Let's get rid of three ships. Uh, let's get rid of two ships. All right. That's probably fine. We still have some uh, queuing issues here. Which is really annoying. But it should bloody well loosen up. It is losing up slowly because we had 
doing way back here. Is loosening up most definitely it'll it'll happen it'll happen the queue is just starting over there now to be a fair uh, I think we can probably take some more trucks off there and then it'll be much better okay so what do we have here we have vandals For a second, uh, this, this I want to pin. So we have a rate of 881. Is this a one to one? It is a one to one. Um, but this is, of course, a two to one. So we need a higher rate here. We need a higher rate here, so maybe we just replace all of these vandals with the violas. More carrying capacity. Okay, that's too much. 1600, that is way too much. Uh, we can at least take three ships off. 1355. 1265, that's... Probably okay. What's your rate now? Uh, you're carrying plastic. Uh, your rate is 896. That's fine. Your rate is 1215. That's way too much. Uh, Take two ships off there. Takes us down to 900. That's better. And in here. Okay. So this should make our lines more profitable. It should make produce more and it should basically in general just be better it should reduce cluttering of ships um, let's see manage line no 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 that's okay. um, right, let's take a look at you you 755 it's a little bit under what we want actually what? The ship's open so let's replace all of these ships with the violas and see what this is now 1393 see that's too much uh, i think we can take at least two ships off here Eleven hundred and ninety four. that's okay and i think it'll go up a little bit as we uh as we get better you might say So that's a lot of shipping lines having been optimized. Uh, do we have food sitting here for Stockholm? We do. Good. And you, you're bringing bricks to Copenhagen. Where are our Stockholm ships? They're here. Uh, 
You have seven food, you have ten food. I just need to spread out a bit, then it'll be fine. Okay. This is good. This is good news. So all of this should max out its production. Hopefully. Hopefully. Why is your production so low? And maybe you didn't have a delivery for a while. Because I sold ships. That could well be. There's one column is 65. So this just all needs to catch up again. It just needs to catch up again. And it will. It will. So very good. And in the next one, we will continue upgrading our ships a bit, I think. Uh, oop, uh, we are definitely getting into the air, age of air. Uh, and some new trains. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And we have a little bit of food sitting here for Stockholm. I do have a couple of trucks on there. It's way too much right now, but... Hopefully, hopefully, it'll be better. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I actually think we just need one truck on that route, to be honest. Uh, and then, no, it's actually not with an exclamation mark, so that's nice to see. Probably will be though, but we're handling it. We are handling it. Yes, we are. This will all loosen up as well when we have less ships on there. Oh, it's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be absolutely wonderful, I'm telling you. Uh, not too much, but. It's okay. Let's turn around. How many goods are you coming with? 110. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so uh, in the next one, we will. I think we'll continue with updating our shipping lines a bit with the new vessels that we have available. It won't take too long to do. I think we're, we're about halfway through or something. And then we'll see what we can figure out maybe we need to play a bit with airports because we do have the large airports available now so yeah they are large i don't know where i'm gonna fit them but uh, we'll have to figure that out and i think it might be a good idea to play a bit with airports in the next one or our Transport hub or cargo hub in here. We'll see. We will figure it out as we go along. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.